How is workplace bullying different from working with difficult people? How about this? Does this sound familiar? You're isolated and you're separated from your coworkers. In fact, you're being excluded from what's really going on. Or how about this? You're marginalized and your coworker rolls their eyes whenever you speak and they don't really ask your opinion even though you obviously have something worthy to say. A lot of times you're lied about behind your back and you feel like you're always on guard. And now what happens is you're unable to focus and as a result your work keeps piling up and you're confused, you have an increased sense of self-doubt and you're constantly looking over your shoulder. You know at this point work probably is a place you dread and you don't want to be seen there and as a result the stress has crept in and it's really robbed you of the enjoyment that you have for life itself. Hi. My name is Valerie Cade and I'm a speaker and an author and a consultant and I specialize in helping people cope with the tragic effects of workplace bullying. You know, you may have been on the receiving end of any or all of these behaviors I just mentioned, but from my experience there isn't a country on the planet that hasn't been affected by workplace bullying. And even though these behaviors leave you feeling awful and confused, you might be wondering this question. Is this really bullying? You might be lying awake at night thinking, how do I know for sure? Well, we understand that our workplaces are chocked full of disrespectful behaviors. So now your real question is this, is this workplace bullying or is it a difficult person? Here's the issue. Handling a difficult person is one thing, but did you know that it's completely opposite to the strategy you need to handling a bully? Furthermore, get this one, managers make the vital mistake of telling their employees to rationalize with the bully. And that is the worst advice they can give for everyone. Now why is this the worst advice? Well, rarely do managers or supervisors, HR, your coworkers, rarely do they know how to really handle the bully. Think about it. <laughs> Where did we ever get a chance to learn any of this? So I'd like to help you. Why not join people from all over the world who have taken our five-day Bully Free at Work e-course? I'd encourage you to go to howtobebullyfreeatwork.com or click on the link below. And now you can begin your journey to becoming Bully Free at Work. And why would we ever do that? Because you simply deserve it.